All right, well, we've teamed up with Super Value, proud sponsor, real supporters of the GA Football Championship, to give you the chance to win a VIP trip for two to this year's final. You'll be collected tomorrow from wherever you live in the country and brought to Croke Park, where well, you receive tickets to the big game to soak up all the action. Plus, there's a two-night stay at the four-star Croke Park Hotel in Dublin, €3,000 spending money, <laughs> and a limo ride home as well. For your chance to win the lot, answer this. In which year did Donegal win their only All-Ireland Senior Football Championship title? Was it 1982, 1992 or 2002? If you think you know the answer, call 1516 712233 or text the word MATCH followed by your answer and name to our new number 57117. Viewers in Northern Ireland can also text 57117 or call the number on screen. You must be over 18 to enter. Further details are on RTE Airtel page 195. Lines will close at 11pm tonight and the lucky winner will be announced towards the end of the show. So stay tuned for that. Now, we've a lot to pack in. So yeah. to get us started, will you please welcome Kerry legend Jack O'Shea. Former Mayo Rose scientist, singer and football fan Evie Nihuluan. And one of the great players from Donegal's 92 All-Ireland winning team, Martin McHugh. <laughs> Now, this is the opposite to the Sunday game last week when Cyril was in the middle of... Our, you're, you're like the rose amongst the thorns <laughs> well, now. Thank this you very much. I had to wear my mayo red well, well, you're tonight. Doing the you should have left us outside. We were having a great chat outside. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have plenty of time for it later. Yeah. <laughs> All right, listen. Let's get talking about this match. Who do you think is going to win, Jack? Because you, you have a bit of a link, haven't you? Yeah, I manage my own 93-94. And um, I have a link a lot of... A lot of happy memories in my time in Mayo. John Prenti is probably up there in the audience, and his wife who's had the apple tart there every evening. I go down for training, and uh, yeah, I think it's going to be a very, very good match. I think you have the two best teams in the country in the final. Um, I was kind of trying to pick an all-star team myself two nights ago, and I think I have 13 of tomorrow's participants on my team. Mm. So I think that uh, I think the boat is out to be in the final. I think it's going to be a great game. Donegal have played great football this year. They've beaten Kerry, beaten Cork, beaten Tyrone. You know, everything points to Johnny Galway, but I've been very impressed with Mayo this year. And uh, the first glimpse I got of Mayo, this Mayo team, I thought against Kerry in the league semi-final this year, they were really good in the second half. And um, they've shown a lot of maturity since. I thought they were very, very good against Down. A lot of people thought Down were poor, but I thought Mayo were exceptional that day. And uh, I thought they were very, very good against Dublin as well. And I like the way they're moving the ball. They're, they're not carrying the ball into tackles, they're actually kicking the ball 20 and 30 yard passes. Very, very effective. And they'll be a hard team to pin down. Martin, your son Mark is playing tomorrow and obviously you played yourself as well. How were the nerves for him and how were your nerves back in the day? Uh, I think they're worse for me than him. I'd yeah. prefer to be out there playing. It's easy to go, ah, I think I was just thinking, uh, Jack, there, you know, saying, way back to Kerry with the great team, we always looked up to Kerry and Donegal. Mm. I remember Donegal played Kerry, Kerry in, in, in a match one time and uh, Kerry beat them a couple of points. I went down to Kerry afterwards, uh, down there, and I met a fellow in a bar, you know, and he was just chatting to me, and he says, you know, you're a great side up there, he says, but you're too small. You're too small. <laughs> he says, you need big... So I said, will you send up a few big Kerry women? And he says, <laughs> he says, he says, a wool, but they'll have to be pregnant before they go up. <laughs> 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 <So>. <laughs> <laughs> just think now... Now we're, we're going to send we're going to send them back down to yeah. Kerry. Now, sort of <laughs> Moving swiftly away from yeah, that topic. Yeah. I'll, I'll be honest. Oh no, I want you to go back to Jack. Uh, on that. My mind is racing at the moment. We need to move back. Even you're you're from a football family and you're a big football supporter. Aren't well, you? I have five brothers and they all yeah. played with Ballantubber at one stage or another. And my youngest brother actually plays hurling now with Castlebar Mitchells and, and the Mayor hurling yeah. team. But that's for another day. But uh, no, I mean like football is always part of. The family, I suppose, and I'm very proud uh, Carnacon woman and a very proud Mayo woman, and of course Carnacon ladies would be a the famous best in football the country, club. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. I went to school, mm. uh, to school with uh, Cora Staunton, and then you've got you know Alan Dillon. I went to school with Richie Feeney, and um, we've got Aidan O'Shea and James Horne, and they all came from Ballantubber. Yeah. That's my parish, so I'm very much looking forward to tomorrow. I think it's going to be a great match. You know, the 70 minutes, I think it's going to be jam-packed. I, yeah. I think it's a 50-50 game, and uh, I'll be there cheering along tomorrow. So I'm, I'm so nervous about it, I you really am. I can actually feel it from you. <laughs> but you, you, you did Celebrity Bonnet Show. Did that mm. give you a sense of 
how much people put in and families, how everyone's affected by it. Well, do you know what? Before that, I knew the basics about football, but I never realised the work a manager has to, does, uh, has yeah. to do and the background team as well. Um, so all the lads down in Kilshima, I think they were very patient with me. Yeah. But it, it did kind of give me an extra grow for the game. Um, so I have to say, you know, it, 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 that's, I suppose, why I'm kind of even more a staunch supporter of Mayo now, definitely. Yeah. You were talking about families there and commitment and what it means. And we have Michael Murphy's dad in the audience tonight, Michael. Yeah. And his lovely wife. Yeah. Where are you from, Michael? Originally from Ballina, County Mayo. <laughs> so what does it feel like to have Michael lining out against your own home county tomorrow? Well, it's... Uh... You'd never dream about it anyway. It's no. something, something unbelievable, I might as well say. But uh, having said that, I have been closely over the years. Uh, Michael played for me at underage football right through, and I suppose I'm closely, very closely associated with him, if you know what I mean, right mm -hmm. through his years and through his football. And uh, all the good people at Donegal that did a lot of work for Michael as coaches and managers down the years. There's too, too many here to mention tonight. I would have to be honest about it. Uh, they have all contributed massively. But Michael, I would find, is a, an excellent young fella. Uh, he's a great young lad. And uh, he has never given us... We've got great joy out of him playing Gaelic football. And it's such a great game, it's such a great culture, our, Gael, our games here at Gaelic football. And... Uh, it's great what to be more part can of I it. Say, yeah. But Indeed. Michael, can you, can you enjoy this? I mean, it is a fabulously proud moment for all the family and, and the parish and everyone. But is it too tense for you? Well, I haven't felt any tension so Have far, Good believe it or not. Good for you. Believe it or not. Uh, I'm trying to soak it up. I'm trying to enjoy it. Uh, because it's a rare thing, if you know what I mean. Sure is, yeah. But I really do, I have to say, I really am enjoying it every moment of it. Will you be cheering for tomorrow? Well, I would be honest and I'm going to be true. I would have to support my son. I would definitely. <laughs> Look to the family, and, and I hope you have a great day tomorrow. Now, behind you is another one with a, a family link tomorrow. Alma Cavanagh's brother Rory is playing uh, for Donegal. How are you, Alma? Are you nervous? Very nervous indeed. Yes, um, just because you know there's so much at stake, I suppose. But yeah. you know, it's a great, great honour, you know, to see Jim and the boys being in the final. And you know, they've done us proud so far, no doubt. Tomorrow they'll just take it one step further for us. I, I saw you kind of got caught up in it as well. You're a school principal and the school got involved in it. That's true, Des. Uh, a bit of a reluctant granny. I was um, <laughs> put into a video uh, for Everybody Plays for Jimmy, uh, yeah. a song that Breeding Carr wrote for the children of the school and for many children around the county. And uh, oh, I suppose, you know, you get caught up in the atmosphere of the children. It's just yeah, yeah. pitch fever up there in Donegal. And, Is that uh, your excuse? <laughs> That's my excuse because I had no excuse. I was just put into it, launched into we it, have, thrown on. We have on. a photograph of it there. Oh, dearie me. You have a photograph of it there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and one final thing. You have a big day yourself coming up later in the year. That's true, yes. Seamus and myself are getting married now in three months. Yeah. Yeah. So. And, and Seamus has links with other counties. Oh. He does indeed, yes. With Mayo, strong links with Mayo. Yeah. Um, yeah. His cousin, his cousin would be in the county, so and the, uh, they're all here beside us, so we're all we're all we're all we're, we're, we're shaking for two there's corners. There's a big Mayo Donegal link, actually. Mm. I, are you conscious of that, Evie? I'm, I'm oh, conscious. Plenty. Even last night, I was out in, in in Dublin, and the amount of people that were saying of cousins in Donegal, of cousins yeah. in Mayo. Oh. But I'm happy to say that I think most of the county or most of the country is getting behind Mayo because we are the underdog. So I'm hoping to see <laughs> loads of red and green tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> It's very strange that Donegal are such hot favourites. Are you nervous of that? Mm. Yeah, you have to be nervous, and the closer you get to the game, you know, <laughs> normally, we see, we go to 92, there's Donegal, it was the other way around. Dublin yeah. were red-hot favourites, and it's always easier for the underdog in a big match like that there. I mean, the last 12 uh, finals, six underdogs have won and six favourites have won, so it's really, it's, it's yeah. down to that there. And I mean, it's, it's going to, I think it comes down to, you know how early the team leaves the dressing room and everything else, it's going to come down to leaders on the field. We saw it in Henry Shefflin the last day, you know, the, his quality, his ability to lead on the field. I think that's what's going to come down to this time. And we take Michael Murphy there at 23 years of age. What a captain in Donegal, you know. Mm -hmm. And I've always said about, you know, I said this about, I remember the time in 92, we were always saying, this, you know, 
close our eyes and think Andy Malloy going up them steps to lift that cup, you know. Uh, and, you know, Andy Malloy, we wanted to crown him king of Donegal. And there'll be no better ambassador than Michael Murphy to get him up there now to, at 23 years of age. <laughs> Donegal have been on some journey over the last two years. Who, you know, who were talking about Donegal this time last year would have seen them in this position and as such or red Mayo, hot fa favourites. Yeah. Or Mayo, yeah. Yeah, I, I think if you went to a bookies in August this year yeah. when the quarter final draw was made and you wouldn't have picked Donegal and Mayo to get through to the final. Yeah. But like as I said, I think both teams have been exceptional this year. I think Donegal's level of fitness is unreal. You know, the, the, like they're really going well in the last 10 minutes of the match, their, their phys physical strength. Uh, the work that they've done is really coming through. I wasn't a great lover of the way they played last year because they were playing very defensive, but I think they've, they've opened the game up quite, quite a bit more this year. Mm. And, uh, and Jack, when we're talking about leaders tomorrow and nerves and all that, you started as a 19-year-old and you would loads of finals. Were you ever nervous, really nervous in any of those big finals? <laughs> no, really. I had um, kind of a, a routine that I stuck with. Um, like, I was based in Dublin, so I trained under Michal and Herty. Yeah. And uh, on the Friday night before an All Ireland final, Michal would come over to me and say, "Jack, you're in great shape." <laughs> <laughs> so that convinced me that I was in good shape. But I kind of did my own thing. I, you know, I think All Ireland finals you have to leave, you have to be very natural coming into it. Like the, the more you think about it, the more nervous you're going to be. You can lose a lot of your energy in that. And uh, I used to work more Saturdays before the final. I used to go out to uh, Malahai to meet the team at eight o'clock on the sun on the Saturday night. Uh, about. About 10 o'clock, we could march down to reception and come on, lads, we're going for a meeting. We'd walk out the door of the hotel in Malahide, down onto the beach. At night time? At night time, pitch dark. We'd all be sitting on a wall. You wouldn't even know who was sitting next to you. <laughs> Mick would be out in front talking. That was our team talk. Right. You know, and and I bet uh, we've been copying that now, that we're looking for <laughs> beaches in the dark. And then, yeah. <laughs> what I used to do on the Sunday morning, probably was a lot of people would find it hard to believe, I used to go out and play 18 holes of pitch and put in Malahide. Before the match? After sure. breakfast, yeah. <laughs> I just get away completely and relax. And uh, usually the, it was usually the subs and the team used to come with me in that. But I just, I just relaxed going into the game as much as possible. And I thought, go out by playing a bit of pitch and put. It took my mind off it. And I, was, I didn't think about the game until 2 or 3 o'clock. You know? Jack and Martin, you, you'd be interested in this as well. Joe Brawley said, <laughs> I suppose you have to put the caveat <laughs> about Joe Brawley said, <laughs> yes, that the teams of today would easily beat the teams of 20 years ago now, that the fitness, the preparation, I mean, the sports psychology, the nutrition, everything that goes into it has taken them to such a level that they would, they would run Be riots. Cycles. I think Be the psychology has changed because I, Mayo, you know, a lot of people would have said they always lost it in Co Park, but I think this team, mm. you know, they've focused so much on playing the game for 70 minutes. They're a very young team and I think they really have the faith and they have the loyal support behind them. I think they can do it tomorrow. It's been 61 years, but I really think tomorrow could be Mayo's day. Do you know what I'd say? But I, I would say people are on about Mark. I say he can run, I could play football. You know, it's different. Yeah. May over 15, 15 <laughs> people in their backroom team. Donegal are probably someone like 20 people in the backroom team. Yeah. It's different. The one thing you say about it is the effort and commitment that they're putting in these players. They're professional every way. We yeah. look at Rory McIlroy, Tiger Rouge, talking about one in 10 million. You have the soccer players in England and these lads will all have to be at work on what, Tuesday or Wednesday this week. I mean, it's, you have to give them a lot of credit. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Great, you know, and anybody comes over, soccer for example, to see it, they can't believe the effort for amateurs that they're putting in. Well, well maybe uh, the context of this next thing is very clear because when you look at what it means to the people of Donegal, because as you've heard, it's 20 years since they last tasted that All-Ireland glory.